Well, hello there. I'm Sigelinde, and I'm an artist living in a tiny house near Bruges. And I want to welcome you all to take a look inside and see what I have hidden all around this small dwelling. So uh, come on in and uh, let's take a look. Living in a tiny house has been an amazing experience and I, I can't see myself living in another way but I don't believe it's for everyone. Um, you, you can't have a lot of things so if you like buying things it's not a, uh, a good uh, way to live but for me I want to live as sustainably as possible so I think I have everything I could need in the near future in my house. Um, I try to live plastic free as well, so that means I can let go of a lot of things. And uh, I'm a single woman living in this house and it's more of a... I thought when I was building it, if I ever get into a normal housing situation, I can keep this house and use it as a studio. So it would never be a, a lost cause. Uh, but I don't think I want to leave it anymore. Uh, this, this, uh, for, so for me, I, I, I love it. I, I would uh, definitely make the same choice uh, again. About two years ago, I um, went to Tiny House Belgium with this plan of uh, building my house. And uh, they have a lot of uh, technical uh, knowledge and I, I love the work that they have done. Uh, but uh, for me, it needed some not so standard um, elements. I wanted a, a rooftop window that would open up and which was flat so I could see the stars when, when I was lying in my bed. I wanted a, a small window that opened where I could hang my feet outside and be comfortable because I didn't want that edge, that border. Um, I, I'm the first one who wanted a piano and we weren't sure if we could pull it off. Um, and it, it's been a, quite a discovery, but uh, I tried to do as many things that I could myself. I found all the materials because I'm someone who wants to be able to touch something before it goes into the house. So, um, and I went on an, an, a scavenger hunt, like uh, really trying to find bits and pieces that fit with me as a personality, not, not just because they're um, the most logical choice, but because they really fit the whole project. Uh, for me it felt more like I'm designing a stage than um, almost a house. It's, it's the both because uh, the doors can open fully, they can open till the, the wall. So uh, I would be able to roll the piano to the door and uh, do concerts from the house. And I wanted a, um, a rooftop where I could sit. So there's a small patio, it's not finished yet but it's almost there. So I have a, a small place where I can uh, sit down, drink some tea and also just sing and uh, maybe do something from above and, and the people are sitting below. So there's a lot of opportunities. I wanted to make sure that this could be a versatile place, that it could, uh, it could grow with, uh, without whatever um, crazy idea I would come up with in that next end, that it would uh, still fit me. Hi there, thank you for watching. My name is Wim, I'm the content creator of these mindful building and living videos and I do hope that you enjoy this content. If you like these kind of videos, do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because then you'll be notified when new content comes online and I hope this will inspire you in your own mindful building and living dream. See you around. For me, tiny house living is uh, very close to nature, close to my nature as well. 
um, it's a kind of house that that's really uh, built for for my style of being. Um, I really love to be surrounded with music, so I have a, a lot of instruments hidden here. Um, I'm someone who likes to live at night, who likes to sing at night, and if I would be living in an apartment building, I think I would annoy many of my neighbors, so that's not an option. Um, and I really don't need a lot of space. But I do have a tendency to collect things and living small, um, make sure that I check in from time to time to see does this uh, thing I collected now have a place in my life or does it have to go? So it's, um, it helps keep me healthy. I am a musician, I'm a singer. I do classical music in strange locations. So if you need a singing wood nymph or mermaid or princess, uh, I'll be there in a costume, um, yeah, singing to the stars. Uh, that's what I love to do most. And I, I do have a lot of instruments, but they're more of a hobby to me and something to um, make sure that I keep experiencing music and learning new things uh, more than uh, I shouldn't go on stage with a piano. Well, I've been here for, um, I've been living in my tiny house for a year and two months. So I've just had my second summer and my first winter. And it's, uh, it's been an amazing experience. And of course, in winter time, there were 10 days where I didn't have any water supply. So um, when I needed to shower, I just jumped in the, um, the pond next to the house. And uh, it, it's, yeah, you have to break some ice from time to time. Uh, it's, uh, I've noticed that Though this, this all seems quite logical, there are so, some small things you have to um, consider. Uh, like, I have an air conditioning and I don't think I would have been comfortable in this house without. Um, so it's, it's the, my way of keeping the temperature and the uh, humidity in the house um, at an equal level. And it's very important for the instruments as well. So I'm happy I had that one. And uh, for the rest, I, I just love it. When I have to uh, do a panic clean, like, oh my God, there's some, someone coming. I need 20 minutes and everything is really spotless. So that's, uh, that's an amazing feeling. <laughs> and yeah, I like not having to think too hard about what jobs am I going to take to be able to sustain myself. It's a... Uh, um, the house has almost been paid for. I have a small loan still going and uh, I think in two years uh, I'll be free to do uh, exactly what I want to do. So I do notice that a lot of people are getting into the tiny house movement and I completely understand why. It's, uh, it's, quite, it's an ecological way of living. It's close to nature. Um, most of us use uh, second-hand material or materi material that's ecologically um, gathered and it's it's a um, you you can find a house that fits you but you don't have to know where you're going to live for the rest of your life yet so th that was one of the reasons for me to build it as well i'm someone who's doing the odd jobs and at the moment a lot of them are coming from bruges but I don't know if this is going to be the place where I want to stay the rest of my life. But I do want something that can grow with me. And uh, so I created this uh, house where I can explore. And uh, yeah, I, I do. I believe a lot of people are looking for uh, to see their house more as an expression of their self, more than just a place where they live. This has really been... Uh, the first thing I asked when I started building is, please give me room for my piano. And I want to be able to sit as many people as possible to do tiny house concerts. Um, I want a place where I can sit and read a book. I want a lot of places where I can sit and read a book. So I have my cozy corners, I have my, um, yeah, quite a big counter as well, because I do like, I'm not a really good cook. But I do like having the space to do so, or, or maybe invite friends so we can cook, cook together. This, uh, yeah, it has more than enough room for everything I could wish to do.
I do a tour around my house, we encountered a staircase and it's filled with uh, small cupboards. So, and I've put some bins in the, most of the cupboards to be able to uh, comfortably find my things. There's um, as many, oh, there are many hmm, empty spaces left. So that's quite fun. Then I have my fridge in the closet. There's a small one here. This is a, a tight cupboard with uh, the cleaning supplies. So these are over here. And then there's the pull-out pull out apothecary, which has most of my uh, food, um, the food pantry. So there we have that. Then I have um, a couple of smaller ones. This is one for all the um, bins. This one is for the dirty washing and the zits and dads. So yeah, and there's a washing machine. Opposite my staircase, there is a big counter and I have my small apothecary cabinet with uh, supplies I use for cooking. There's a steam um, and combination uh, oven. There's the usual uh, things you need with the oven cupboard. And then I have my small things like the <laughs> cutlery and uh, uh, the weighing thing. <laughs> There's all the things you might need in a kitchen. Cleaning supplies are in a bin beneath this cupboard. And my electrical is behind this as well. There's a whole uh, cupboard I lose because of the warming element for the water. The boiler is beneath this one, so I lose this. But I do have places for my glassware and pots and pans. Well, the bathroom is quite small, but it's big enough, of course. It's uh, on one hand we have the ecological dry toilet and then on the other hand I have my shower and uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is a special one. It's um, literally just a bucket, a bucket with uh, sawdust and when you're done you just throw the sawdust on top and once a week I pick up the bucket and I go out and uh, I clean it. So making the bed just takes some aerobics, but um, I have my clothes hidden behind. There's a, a lot of different bins I use um, with uh, t-shirts and dresses, but most of my dresses do have another hiding spot. I have my socks, I have my, uh, uh, yeah, everything you could need. So, and on the other side, there's another one. And that's more for like a, a futon if someone wants to stay. Uh, I have extra uh, bedding and uh, pillows and uh, a lot of things. Even an iron, which I've never used in this house, but it's here, I've got it. Oh, and something dropped. So this is the musical corner in my house. I have my harp and I have a lot of instruments hidden in these. Um, and some in here. There's a guitar, a violin, a ukulele and some boom records and other stuff in the trunk. And of course if you go on stage you need some um, dresses or garments and most of them are hidden in here. So I can pull these down and I can choose whatever I want to wear and just push it back up. So this side of the house has my uh, trunks, which I use to do workshops. They're filled with instruments. Then there's a cupboard for my paperwork. There's uh, the stuff that's close to my heart and I want to give some special space to. 
And then if I start below, I've got two almost empty ones, so I can still fill these with whatever I want. There's um, this special one. That's my table, that's my uh, sitting area, that can be anything I need it to be. And I have these pillows to put next to it. Or I use a cajon to sit. Uh, we've been sitting here with a lot of people around this small little table. And it's also a part of my um, workplace. So this is where I can do some computer work if necessary. And I have this and it's like the, the one drawer you don't want to open. <laughs> and in the table I have room for shoes. Clever. So I have an air conditioning unit in my house to keep the temperature balanced and uh, I'm really happy that I made that choice uh, because it's been, um, I've been able to have a comfortable summer and winter and it's quite energy efficient. So that's a, a nice uh, reason to choose that one. That's one of the reasons why I chose it. I've been thinking about installing solar panels, but I'm still waiting for a little bit of change in technology to make sure that it's uh, an, something that's interesting for me at the moment, because uh, you need some batteries to get it all up and running. And I've not seen a system that uh, would fit for me at the moment. So, and I am, connected to the house at the front of the street which has solar panels for themselves so it's not useful at this time um, in space but i uh, am looking into solutions for uh, recovering my water and uh, trying to be as self-sustainable as possible I get my water and my electricity from the farmhouse in front and I'm connected uh, with these two wires. I've got my connections for water and electricity below and they go underground and run all the way to the farm. And I hope that this winter I'm going to have some running water, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see if it freezes too much. Maybe um, it might need some more insulation, but let's see another year and uh, we'll see what happens. Then there's the outside the air conditioning unit and next to it I have a connection to the ground. I have four of those. It's four anchors um, to make sure that I shake a little bit less when, it, uh, when it's very windy out, um, which it can be here in West Flanders. So I have some uh, rubber joints in between the connections to make sure that uh, it shakes a little bit less whenever I use my washer. I always made the choice to um, use materials that are as ecological as possible and as sturdy as possible because I want this house to last a long, long time. Um, it's a, a wood build, which we're not that used to in Belgium, but uh, I found a great company who has uh, a lot of experience working with these tiny houses and they did a marvelous job. Um, I absolutely adore it. Okay. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Questions or remarks, post them in the comments down below. If you like our video, just click the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching.